Washington High School rolled out a hero's welcome for 48 students visiting from Zimbabwe. These students are building the future for people on another continent. These bright young people are from Ridings College in Zimbabwe. They've come to Booker T. Washington High School for a week of science, technology, engineering, and math projects. Get it up, can you get it up? The goal is to teach these visiting students to build wind turbines capable of producing 250 watts of power. They will also design a water filtration system. This global collaboration is the brainchild of school principal Dr. Carlos Phillips. He visited Zimbabwe for a conference last year and says the trip changed his life. While I was there, I observed small students, um, children, and their families carrying buckets of water just so that they can have water in wherever places they live. So I was humbled by that experience. And I also saw that the education experiences can be impacted negatively when the electricity sources are cut off because the electricity is not as fluid as we have here in the United States. And so if the electricity shuts off, that means that no learning can take place and students will be at a disadvantage. Booker T. Washington high schoolers are no strangers to the STEM program. In fact, they built this wind turbine at their school and it's strong enough to power their campus. It's a good chance for my student to uh, mentor, also to learn more by helping and to see how it makes a difference to others, especially in different countries. The kids split into two groups. One team worked on the turbine blades while the other built the base. They were excited to use tools they never held before. Mari Fazda Shidovi is learning to weld. It's important because it helps us to exchange ideas and develop in ways that we couldn't develop alone. And it um, sort of like helps the whole world as a whole to become something more because one person alone can't really change anything. You need to work together to do great things. When the students get to collaborate with each other and kind of see some of the things that uh, are lacking on both sides of the fence, they'll um, be able to kind of come up with prototypes and come up with solutions that can help the problems that are plaguing both us here and the students in Africa. Knowledge shared here will improve life in Zimbabwe for years to come. If we can um, harness the energy through wind, we can try and develop ourselves and develop the communities that we live in. And I believe that energy is a fundamental element. So I believe that what the students are doing right here today um, will live in the legacy and the history of uh, what is to come in the foreseeable future. If they can do that at their ages and be able to create design and help their communities, they should be able to create the, the future that we need. This international partnership will continue via Skype and email. In November, students from Booker T. Washington plan to travel to Africa to help with construction of the turbines and water system. They'll also experience a culture very different from our own. We'll learn from them, they'll learn from us. Um, I guess one of the major things is we'll get to see how privileged we are and the things that we take for granted in everyday life and you know, not everybody has that same privileges. We thrive by helping other people because that's what we believe and that is the philosophy of Booker T. Washington himself by lifting others up as you move forward and it's just, um, it's just I, I can't even describe the feeling to work at a school for Booker T. Washington, what he believed in as a person, as an educator, and now we get a chance to do that from, you know, from here to another country. I mean, it's just an experience I can never imagine.